In this morning's Business Insight, FC Cincinnati, along with Turner Construction and Jostin Construction, have partnered with CityLink Center to create a construction workforce hiring program. It's called First Source, and the goal, get it, is to connect individuals to construction job opportunities as the FC Cincinnati franchise builds a $250 million soccer stadium in the West End. John Mark Outerslice is the director of CityLink. He joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio to talk about that partnership. Thanks, Peg. John Mark, thanks so much for being yeah. here this morning. Um, let's start with a uh, little background on CityLink, because not everyone may know what it is and how it works. Okay, thanks for having us. Um, so CityLink Center was launched six years ago, and the whole goal is our city faces a tremendous challenge with poverty. So we've got about a third of adults uh, in poverty, and half of our children are born into poverty. Mm -hmm. And we've got over 2,000 social services. And so that led the founders of CityLink to kind of have this statement of our, our community was programmed program rich but system poor. We were asking people with very little margin to navigate a very complex system of assistance. And so CityLink Center tries to simplify that path for individuals. So under one roof in one building, individuals can come and really evaluate where they're at in different aspects of their life, help have barriers removed as they advance their lives in areas of employment, education, mm -hmm. financial education. Um, and we really try to create that one stop where individuals can go, advance their lives out of poverty. And so we launched six years ago, um, have served about 3,000 individuals since, uh, since our inception. And you are located in the West End. Yes. Where the new stadium is being built. Absolutely. So was this just a natural evolution with FC Cincinnati? How did that come to be? Yeah, we're very fortunate. We had uh, a couple of concurrent things happening at the same time. So we were uh, discovering the power of industry trainings. Uh, so we've got incredible partners like Perscalis uh, who do IT training. We saw how that can really advance an individual's life mm -hmm. through a short-term training. We've mm -hmm. launched a culinary training and we did a discovery last year to say what are the other paths or career pathways that we should be exploring and construction came to the top. Yeah. And so as a part of that, we did an industry survey to understand what were the actual needs from employers. Mm -hmm. And one of those conversations was with Turner. And so that started the conversation. Um, they have a heart for the community and a heart for seeing not only just a short-term win with the FC Stadium build, but how do we really create a sustainable pipeline of mm -hmm. talent mm -hmm. uh, for that industry. Mm -hmm. So does Turner have experience then doing this? To, I mean, can you look at what they've done to see what this might eventually turn into? Yeah, so Turner is an incredible company and they're partnering with Jostin Construction mm -hmm. and I think all of those organizations in the industry have been trying to figure out this talent pipeline. Uh, they came to us because they said that they understand and appreciate the holistic needs of people and so they were looking for a center that not only is helping to connect people with jobs but helping to remove the barriers that may exist around child care, transportation or financial education that could actually kind of uh, derail somebody from a job or from a career that they're starting. Mm -hmm. So they were seeing an opportunity in the marketplace mm -hmm. and uh, they came to us and we've had uh, six months of conversations determining how do we best do this and best position this first source program mm -hmm. to really meet the needs of the community and meet the needs of the industry. So uh, do you know yet, do you have some projections in terms of how many jobs, how many sustainable jobs, what kind of training yeah. is needed? Yeah, so um, the FC has shared that the jobs now, the job site is going to ramp up towards the end of 2019, um, and they're looking forward towards the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, to having upwards of 200, 300 people on that job site. Um, a lot of those are subcontractors who are coming with their crews, and mm -hmm. so part of the assessment process is going to be, what are the needs of those subcontractors? Mm -hmm. um, when we did an initial survey with the subcontractors for that job and other employers, it highlighted the needs of hundreds of entry level positions within the construction industry. Um, so we've been doing research about what programs can be most effective and um, we're looking at a 20-day training program to help wow. equip individuals with OSHA 10 certification, with NCCR core so they can walk onto the job site with comfort of tools, material handling, um, construction math, and be really prepared not just for this particular job site but for the ongoing career in construction. Nice. So um, we have to wrap up. 
but if people are interested in learning more, can they go to the CityLink website? Is that the best place for? Yeah, so for, for the jobs go? specifically, you can go to firstsourceoperator.com okay. and you can register there. And with that registration, you'll be able to see a listing of jobs as they become available on okay. that job site. And you can always go to citylinkcenter.org okay. in order to understand more about the services we provide, including services around construction. Fantastic, and there's also a story in the print edition, so be sure to check that out for more. John Mark, thank Great. you so much for being here. Thank Good you luck for with having the program. us. Thank you. Okay.